Blockbuster films may be billion dollar affairs these days, but no matter how big the action and spectacle may get, slip ups are bound to happen. Studios do their best to keep those flaws from making the final cut, but luckily for movie buffs, some incredible mistakes still slip through the cracks. Here are Screen Rant's biggest movie mistakes you missed. The Last Samurai The Last Samurai's tale of 19th century Japan may rewrite several historical events and figures, but it's actually star Tom Cruise's horse who delivers the biggest on-screen gaffe. As the film's hero arrives to muster his samurai before battle, his horse comes to a full stop before suddenly unleashing a crushing blow to a nearby extra. It seems the horse didn't care for the way it was handled and chose to take its anger out on an unsuspecting samurai, a decision every viewer can now appreciate with a laugh or a shudder. Jurassic Park It's no secret that Jurassic Park has its fair share of mistakes, mostly continuity errors or props appearing on screen. Then there's the magical T-Rex enclosure that a dinosaur can walk out of, despite the massive plunge shown later. But one would think that a film capable of bringing dinosaurs to life would also be able to set up an actual live camera feed for programmer Dennis Nedry before he double-crosses John Hammond. But when Nedry is speaking with his contact at the Isla Nublar docks, no attempt is made to conceal the fact that he and the viewer are watching a pre-recorded video, which would have ended not long after the shot. Quantum of Solace James Bond adventures are famous for their physics-defying action and over-the-top science, but Quantum of Solace showed it isn't just 007 who can turn reality on its head. As star Daniel Craig tracks his prey in the sun-baked harbor of Hawaii, a background maintenance worker does his best to look casual and fails miserably. Making sure not to fill the set with clouds of dust or sand is understandable, but how this floating broom pantomime made it into the finished film is anyone's guess. An overzealous extra is one thing, but Quantum of Solace is also home to one baffling error placed center stage. During a high-speed boat chase, James decides to cut power unexpectedly, causing the pursuing boat to slam up into the back of his own. Without a weapon, James grabs a nearby grappling hook and tosses it over into his enemy's inflatable boat. The rope catches and the bad guys are sent flying into the air, ending the chase. Problem is, the hook was never actually attached to anything. There's no reason for the rope to be pulled out of the boat in the first place. Audiences are left to scratch their heads at what just took place and wonder what the filmmakers could have been thinking when they filmed it. Gladiator Ridley Scott's Gladiator pushed visual effects and swords and sandal drama into a whole new generation, but it wasn't without a few rough spots. Star Russell Crowe begins his journey from slave to revolutionary by uniting his fellow gladiators during a reenactment of the Battle of Carthage, in which opposing chariots are beaten by spear and teamwork. Yet when a chariot loses a wheel and tips on its side, a curtain drops, revealing the entire gas canister rig used for the stunt. It's nearly impossible to miss, making it even more out of place in such an award-winning drama. Transformers Age of Extinction Director Michael Bay may have his critics, but he's also responsible for the slick action now standard in every summer blockbuster with the Transformers series being his most successful to date. But in the storm of giant alien robots fighting to destroy the Earth, some smaller mistakes have slipped through. One of the strangest can be seen during the closing fight of Transformers Age of Extinction, as star Mark Wahlberg runs to the aid of Optimus Prime, drawing fire from Megatron in the process. A brick wall takes the brunt of the villain's attack, along with a completely unknown man suddenly appearing at Wahlberg's side. Whether a member of the crew or a cast member, his instant arrival is a total mystery. The Dark Knight Rises The final chapter of Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy threw more than a few curveballs at fans, including Catwoman's shift from villain to heroine. But when Bruce Wayne and Selina Kyle first joined forces for a rooftop fistfight, their skills proved too much for one background henchman, who drops to the ground without even being touched. It's clearly a case of stunt team members missing their mark, but it's not the only one in the film. When Batman emerges to save Gotham from the brink of the film's final act, yet another henchman decides that hitting the deck without reason is the best course of action.
Batman Begins. Extras can occasionally make their presence well known, but doing too good a job can also lead to some problems. Take for instance one Gotham City police officer seen in Christopher Nolan's Batman Begins. No fan will forget the first time Bruce Wayne took his tumbler to the streets, but some might not have noticed one mind-boggling mistake contained in the sequence. Moments before Batman sends the tumbler jumping from the top of a parking structure, a police officer demands that he get out of his vehicle. Just a minute later, that same police officer is shown across town demanding a description of Batman's wheels. At least tell me what it looks like. Apparently, he was just too good an actor to waste on one gag. Never mind. Star Wars. Every film buff knows that the release of Star Wars A New Hope changed the world, not only for its box office success, but also for the clumsy stormtrooper slamming his head into a Death Star doorway that instantly became the stuff of legend. Rather than fixing the mistake, director George Lucas called out the gaffe in later re-releases, adding a sound effect and a line of dialogue. Take over. But it didn't stop there. The clumsiness was carried over into the prequel movie, Attack of the Clones, where Jango Fett, the man from whom the clone troopers were copied, was shown to be just as clumsy. As Lucas explained in the film's DVD commentary, I thought, wouldn't it be funny if that's a trait Django has? When he puts his helmet on, he can't really see that well, so he's constantly bumping his head, and that trait gets cloned into all the stormtroopers. So what do you think of our list? Did we miss any of your favorite movie mistakes? Let us know in our comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.